Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Right now, I have about 605 people who are tuned in to our live video stream at live.perillo.com where we broadcast 24 hours a day, seven days a week, typically talking about technology tips, tricks, and trends. And the reason why they're tuned in is because uh, tonight, on New Year's Eve, we're giving away the uh, Solid State Zonbu computer. We do giveaways all the time. Uh, but we have a few hundred people who watch us on a regular basis. And I mean us, because it's a, it's a community. We got the chat going on and everything. And part of the community is submitting tips and sharing tips with everybody else. And I've got a top five list in my hot little hands. Well, they're not so little. I mean, they're kind of adult. I guess they are kind of small hands. Anyway, uh, Peter Schwanky, who goes by the nickname Cygnus. I think Cygnus is in the chat room right now, if I'm not mistaken. Has submitted the top five keyboard shortcuts for your enjoyment. Submitting another top five, he says. I don't know if you're sick of these yet. Oh, definitely not. I love these things. If you want to send in your top five, by the way, chris at perillo.com. That's my email address, not Cygnus's. I find that my computing experience is greatly enhanced by knowing a few really good keyboard shortcuts. I think everybody should know a lot of these basic commands as it speeds up your work and makes life just that much easier when you don't have to reach for the mouse. And can you keep your hands on the keyboard? Sadly, I'm not nearly as well versed with Apple shortcuts, however, between you, Chris, and Apple Universe, that would be Daniel, and I'm sure you'd know, or I'm sure you could throw together a very similar list for the OS X crowd. Fair enough. The first tip he's got, the Windows key. Yes, everyone knows how uh, much hitting the Windows key in the middle of your full screen game can ruin your day, but outside of playing games, it can be very useful for more than just pulling up the start menu. Very true. Commands such as Windows D. That minimizes all your windows and displays the d -esque top. This can be great if you have a lot of stuff up and you just don't want to get it all out of the way. Chris, I'm sure you're about to mention Expose. Well, I will. Expose for the Mac. Hitting Windows D again will bring up your windows just as they were before you hid them all or you minimize them. Windows R opens up the Run dialog box, which is great to get the command line or a calculator quickly typing in CMD or CALC, respectively, without having to go through the start menu. It's also good for relaunching Explorer if it bugs out for some reason. Other good ones to know are msconfig and services.smc, which are great for tweaking both system settings and running services, and that you can get to by using the Windows R command, Windows R. See, I know, trust me, I know all about these. I love keyboard shortcuts. Windows E opens up the Explorer for my computer. Get the files nice and quick, especially with his next tip. Use your keyboard to navigate folders. What? Your keyboard works up to navigate folders? Yeah. Holy file browsing, Batman. That's what he writes. Good one. Holy. F Give it a try. Open up your C drive and hit P. It will immediately jump to the file starting with P. And if you keep typing, it'll keep refining. PRO will usually highlight program files. Hit enter to open the folder and then off you go, typing into the next folder or file that you want. Tab and shift tab. Tab will move you automatically to the next field within the window in the foreground. What does that mean? Well, say you're composing an email. Type in the two line, such as chris at perillo.com. Then instead of clicking on the subject line, just hit the tab key until it highlights the subject line. Type in your subject, hit tab again, and then you're in the body of the email. It works great in conjunction with Windows E by default. Windows selects the file tree on the left, and then to navigate with the keyboard, you want to have the main field selected, which is on the right. Tab, shift tab, amazing tip, not just in Windows, but on the Mac as well. Tab will move between fields. Shift tab reverses the field moving position of your cursor. Uh, sorry, I realize it doesn't make a lot of sense there, but I think you get what I'm talking about. Alternatively, uh, well, he notes shift tab moves to the previous field. Shift tab, tab. Alt tab, while in a window, alt tab will switch between the windows and the taskbar, the windows that are open, holding down alt and repeatedly hitting tab. See if I can get that right. Alt, tab, 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 tab. Uh, that's, you pretend I've got an invisible keyboard in front of me. <laughs> uh, that will uh, allow you to flip through in the, the tab. I don't know what, they, what do they call it. Well, it's still, it's like a task switcher, basically. And there's also in Windows Vista, they've got the Windows tab, which allows you to do the flop 3D special effects. Oh, I'm sorry, did I say flop 3D? I, I, I didn't mean to say, I meant to say flop 3D. Uh, Alt F4 closes a window, plain and simple. The keyboard way of hitting the X 
in the upper right hand corner of the window. May seem simple, almost basic, but I'm always surprised at how overlooked some of these simple gems are. Between these keyboard shortcuts and a program called Launchy on Windows, a command line application launcher, much like Quicksilver for OS X, which I also suggest, I find that I'm far quicker to get from point A to point B and rarely have to use a start menu or have the icons or click the icons on my desktop. Peter, Cygnus, uh, appreciate this uh, wonderful list of tips. I uh, abide by keyboard shortcuts. Uh, in fact, on OS X, I use Quicksilver as well as the Spotlight uh, menu for launching applications. I never look at my dock, well, at least on OS X, and I hardly ever use uh, the taskbar for switching between tasks inside of Windows as well. Uh, using the keyboard is just so much quicker, and I know some people want to point and click and everything, but dude, it, it may not sound like it, but it is far more elegant and far quicker to use the keyboard and master those keyboard shortcuts. So anyway, if anybody else out there has got a top five list for just about anything, whether it's you know technology related or not, I'd love to read it back to the rest of the community. And as I noted before, uh, we are always live in our chat room. Uh, and this is where everybody over here chatting, people watching me do this stuff live. I may not be sharing tips 24 hours a day, but you know people in the chat room are, or they're talking tech, hopefully not talking too much trash unless they're playing a game. And yeah, they love talking about games. And every once in a while, we do give something away. In fact, I think we try every week we try to give something away. So uh, you never know when we're going to give it away. But the only way to participate is, well, to, to stop by and to participate in general. You're a member of the community, whether you want to be or not. Right? Right? Oh, e you later. That's how I end the videos, but I'm not done yet because i got to tell them where to go. You go to live dot perillo dot com and now i say we'll eat you later <laughs>